and I'm just starting. Okay, so the recording, we got the Kurt trailer hitch for the Land Rover Discovery. I have to pull 10 bolts, outer face there, and then you have to lower the exhaust. And then underneath, after you get finally get this thing, this lower fascia, there's a heat shield. That, that's uh, eight nuts. Pull eight nuts, ten bolts. Get this whole lower piece out of here. Then there were two bolts right there. One there, one there. They would not come loose for nothing. So I held the ratchet on. I brought. We looked everywhere for a breaker bar. Kenny, my brother, he goes up in the attic, finds this piece of extruded aluminum. So I held the ratchet on. He slips that over the ratchet and stands out and we busted the two bolts loose. So all we gotta do is bolt this thing up and fish the wiring down and we should be done in probably a half hour now. So, oh yeah, we gotta trim out. You gotta trim out where the receiver comes out. So we're gonna have to trim the, this lower fascia, so. Uh, fun project. 13 total wedge. Okay, so we get a, I'm a little over 13. Trim the shroud, the tow bar. Uh, follow that black line with a cutting wheel. Meanwhile, do not lose the instructions. <laughs> so, something like that. Yeah, less is more, right? Yeah. Until yeah, you know you, you can always retrim, but you can't put it back. Yeah, as long as, <laughs> right. as, long as it goes on, it go, it's going to go on. It's yeah. 13 inches. There. So we go out to the inner line. This one will cancel. I got a little, little cutter, a little tool. I got a little guide. Okay. Okay, that's all marked. I'm just going to trim that with a cutting well. The shrouds clear the tow bar. The tow bar is mounted. Fits nicely up under there, and we have to feed everything back. We still gotta wire it. And to get three, there's three of these bolts up under there. And we had to torque all those, torque them to about 90 foot pounds of torque. And then we'll have to either cut that grommet or replace it, depending on how we're gonna run the wiring before we put the shroud up. So we don't, because we can't do it after. So. My brothers, you got this cutting wheel. We're gonna put on a, put it on a drill, a little cutting wheel set. And he's gonna cut this out. It's all Harbor Freight, huh? Nine bucks. Nine bucks, come with what? About six, eight wheels or something? Yep, about that. Well, it's different, various size wheels. Various size uh, diameters and various teeth counts. Yeah, so see how this goes. I don't know I doubt if there's any sparkling about this or plastic Yeah, I don't need any metal shavings. Mm -hmm. Or otherwise. Yeah, it's going through pretty easy once you get started. Hmm. 
know what? Maybe leaning over the other side can be easier leaning over it, maybe. Okay. Love cutting the bumper up on your $50,000 car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> Might as well beat you. If you don't go right, I can just blame myself. That's right. Well, none of it shows, really, anyway, but it's just no. for clearance. This is all underneath, so. The biggest hazard is doing something with like marking it backwards or cutting the wrong ends of the thing or something. Yeah, as long as we cut enough out and, yeah. like I said, don't cut too much, everything's good. Yeah, as long as we get clearance, we can wiggle it in place. <laughs> Through. I'm going to go ahead and do this angle here, come across and meet it. the groove yeah yeah it's a little sturdier there right there there we go free there all right same thing on this side you're filming yeah, yeah.
guess I'll be okay. I did the other one. Huh? It over and get it on the back side. Go over all the way. Okay. So there you go. Yeah, it's easier there. to see. Yeah. See your line now. If it goes on, it goes on. <laughs> Straighten it if you want. Yeah, got a little bit. Take that little edge off and it'll all look nice and even. It should be. Oh. All right, see how that goes. I'll try fitting it up there. Okay, so next, rather than feed this whole big box with the Land Rover pigtail we're not going to use anyway, he's a regular pigtail, we're going to do this, we pulled that grommet, and uh, all this is going to stay up inside the spare, and this don't even need to be outside, we're just going to run the pigtail down, uh, zip tie it up good, so we're just going to notch the grommet, notch it so that it uh, doesn't cut into that flat part of that wire which is flat cable so that'll keep it watertight and uh, it should work well okay and then I can yeah the channel locks the pliers over there yeah just snap it right off. Yeah. Not a very good pair of pliers, it's just twisting itself. <clears throat> get my channel locks. Well, it'll get done. Yeah. Instead of 15 seconds, it's going to take 45 seconds. Right. <laughs> there, you got a pair right here. Let me see it. Let's see what we did. See, just notched it out with a flat cable. So it's going to go in. Then we're going to line that cable up flat right where we clipped it. Uh, let's see, you have enough hanging out? Yeah, it's, it's plenty out. Want to make sure there's enough, to, you want to, as much as you can. Yeah. So you can. Uh, All right, let's. I'm going to I'm, I'm have to account for that big place of styrofoam. This big old foam piece goes in. Okay. <clears throat> Just gotta line that up, however. Let's get that to fit in there. Somehow, set it in. Yeah, let's, let's see. Let me hold it a second. Okay. It's setting down flat. You're pressing against that. Oh, no, that's not it. It's that that thing right here, I think. Just gonna have to get it positioned. And that quick fail, I'll just okay, after a little wiggling, that went in. Strap's got this piece, and 
Got some straps and stuff that was in there. I'm going to put back in there. Okay. So this is just like a hard foam sits in there. We just had to get it seated again. And the pigtail is just gonna ride up uh, along with the spare. Okay, all the cables, uh, straps are back in. Snap the cover in. There we go, that's all back. Wiring's done. And that just pops in. Yep, all good. Boom, that's done. So, now just reassembly of the rest of the car. Okay, before we start putting the sh shrouds and heat shields back on, we are going to retest to make sure nothing came loose. Go, yep, all right, there's tail lights. Brake lights. Good. Yep. Right turn signal, left turn signal, all good. So, nifty little tester there. How much was that thing? Huh? Ten bucks or something? Eight dollars. Eight dollars? What? Five bucks from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. Oh, no, no, this one came. Or, yeah, this is what? Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. Five bucks. Okay, cool. The other one from Court was too hard to push in. Yeah, I mean, they fit tight. So, yeah. but, whoa, excellent tester. Next step, to replace the lower bumper cover and heat shield. So, we'll get this started. I don't have my tripod, so I can't hold to show this. But this is how we start. And we gotta wiggle it up. We got the exhaust lowered. So we gotta get it up out of there, put eight nuts back on, then 10 bolts. And then this rear cover will go on. It just two bolts and snaps in the top. So then we'll go. Okay, well the hitch is on. After bumper trimming, it's on. Fascia trimming. Yeah, right, it's pretty good, pretty tight. Everything looks fine. Now the hardest part was putting the last two exhaust hanger bolts in. That well, wasn't that fun today, Ken. <laughs> Not the best time I ever had. <laughs> yeah, that was a, uh, uh, let's say a good five hours. About five hours of, uh, for a, uh, should have been probably not more than a two hour job, you would think, if, well, especially if you had a lift, but it looks good. It's ready to go pull a trailer. Yikes. Hope we ain't doing this again. <laughs> See you guys.